Paddy, when you look at Bobby's fighting style, he's got very crisp boxing, but he likes to drop his hands, and we've seen him receive some bad knockouts due to that. Is that why you're so confident that you'll get a knockout against Bobby Green? Yeah, I think he's underestimating me strike and he's underestimating me power a lot. Like, I'll be honest, I didn't believe in my own power until like the, the last few months. Like, my boxing coach Chris, my coaches in the gym, Ellis, Paul, Adam, they've like said to me, and even my sparring partners and that have said to me like recently, lad, you, you don't realise how hard you're it. And the fact that he got knocked out last year I think twice, or Dober might have been the year before, but Dober knocked him out. And then that terrible stoppage against Jalen Turner, where he took so many unnecessary strikes. Uh, I just think he's chinny, you know what I mean? Like, he come back and he beat Jim Miller, yeah. Jim Miller's a grappler, and Jim Miller rocked him in the first round. So, I know for a fact if I put a hand on his chin, or a shin on his chin, that he's, he's not going to get up bad. He's going to be stiff as a board. You were discussing those mental health struggles and in terms of when you're going through a tough time, just talk about how much you value that support network that you have around you, your wife, your teammates, your family, helping you through those times. Yeah, I've said before, lad, and I wouldn't still be here if it wasn't for my wife. Without Laura, lad, I would have, I would have took my life a long time ago. But with her, with my family, with my team, my mates, you know what I mean? Like, where did that interview come out yesterday or today? I've had about six messages off my me mates or my me, me boys who I grew up with, like, lad, you're all right, you're all right. But as I said in that, it, I feel good again now, you know what I mean? I feel great again. A couple of weeks ago, I was getting in touch with Jane, who works at James's place, which is like mental health for men, where you go and speak. I was getting in contact with her to have a chat with her, you know what I mean? Just try and, try and get through it. And as I say, I did, got through it, and lad, I'm ready for anything now, lad. I know Renato Meccano was someone that you wanted to fight. He's now matched up with Benoit Sandani. What do you make of that fight, and are you looking for the winner of that one? Uh, yeah. Like, to be honest, whether Renato wins or loses, I'd still fight him. Like, I think it would be one of the funniest build-ups of a fight ever. I think he's hilarious. And I think a season of the Ultimate Fighter, me and him as coaches, would be absolutely fantastic. I think everyone would love to see that. He, he's a proper character lad. And yeah, I'd love to fight Moicano. I'll be honest, I actually, I, I DM'd Benoit Saint Denis about six months ago, asking did he want to come over to England and get some training in. I'd go over to Paris and get some training with him because it's, it's not far, you know what I mean? It's only a quick flight and it would bring both of our games on a lot.